Let's do more Diablo, yeah? Because I am hooked on this. If you are watching later on YouTube, as always, thank you for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying this. I know this title in particular sometimes is often a fork in the road for some people, <laughs> but I do appreciate if you have been watching. All right. So I'm going to work on some Skarsgård stuff. Maybe even go do this, because to be honest, it's my barbarian. You know what? No, let me, before I jump into that, let me, let me sort this, because it's right here. It's right here. It keeps you entertained while working. Well, that's the important part, as long as it's entertaining. Maybe, maybe Lola will want to play as well. We'll see. Assuming hasn't gone to bed after doing chores. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess we're in the desert now. I'll do a wardrobe change. Um, just to reflect the fact that we're in a desert area. But for now, let's walk around. New enemies! Oh crap, they're birds. I won't look at little statues just yet. I'll just go straight to the goal. And then we'll we'll worry about that stuff later. I think this is the only part that I I disagree with. It's just the fact that this class thing is in Act 3. It's kind of... It's... It's kind of making me rush through it. Or I guess it makes you pressured to rush through it. Just to get to the point where you do your class's special quest. I, I feel like they all should have been in Act 1. It's a bit weird that some of them are, and then... This class is like, oh no, you gotta wait till Act 3. This city looks cool though. Not grabbing, not grabbing any quests. I'm not grabbing anything. Except the waypoint. Um, okay. It's here. We're not starting. Yes, finally. Child of Ariat, yet you bear no crest. Have you no tribe? The winds of battle carry me further and faster than any tribe can travel. <laughs> Spoken like a warrior who has never known a home. There are many like you, raised in the wilds. Your tribe scattered by the fall of Mount Ariat. We oxen have been fortunate. We found a home, good trade. Am I picking a tribe? If you wish to join your strength to ours, seek Katra north of town. She will show you what is needed. Okay. Masters of Battle, where is it? Uh, I think it's po yeah, it's here. Find Katra. If it's saying, hey, dude. Yeah, I just swapped over to this just a few minutes ago. I'm probably gonna run dungeons in uh, Scars Glen if you're keen. I just wanna, cause I'm near this, and this is my class's quest. I wanna do this first. 
I hate that it's in Act 3. This, this is dumb. Anyway. Do you now? The tales walk tall ahead of you, Wanderer. Tell me, are you worthy of them? I would show you. Good answer. To call yourself Oxen Trab, you must earn it in blood, spilled in the sight of our ancestors. I will be their witness. We make for the hunting grounds. Hopefully this isn't long. I, the other ones weren't. It's just very quick. Whoa, oh, okay. It's, it's everything, huh? Oh boy, these things again. I need more time. I don't have enough fury. I'm out of fury. Got more bandits. You're down, you're thinking man is in the world, tier 4, and I think the interest of not making things super boring might start an arc to run. I'm alright with that, that's fine. Damn, already in the world tier 4. Guys, I must- <laughs> guys have been playing a lot. If you're already up to that, you're like up there. I mean, I've been playing a lot, but not as much as that. I'm a clean kill. The Forge Master was right to send you. He might just survive. Survive what? Trying to keep pace with the somewhat cracked friends. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, I guess you have to get through the opening, though. I'm curious how that's gonna work logistically, because you'll have to, I guess, run... I guess you can run straight to Skosglen. I'm out of fury. I'm not ready. But I mean, either way, like, if you haven't gotten aspects, I'm sure they'll be beneficial to your other character. Let's see what you can do. Go to the cave entrance. With new characters after you, be campaign. You can skip campaign. Don't want to shit. <laughs> Don't want to shit all over everything and make it boring. Now that's fair enough. A great and terrible beast. It is plagued. This quest is a lot longer than than the other classes. The Sorceress one was pretty short. As an offering to our ancestors, then we may call you Oxen Tribe. Same as uh for you to return. Or until the sun rises again. You will not be waiting long. Or at least in, yeah, I don't know. I don't think they were, anyway. Clean kill.
Oh, cool. It's just you. It's fine. It's Shadow Enchanted! It's fine. The hammer. It's doing work. Alright, I think I'm done. And what a great ugly thing it is. Glorious. I will deliver this to the Forge Master. When you are ready, return to us in Kedbardu. And congratulations, warrior of the Oxen tribe. Okay. Not that. Uh... So what does this do for me? My eyes can only watch so much. Welcome, kindred warrior. Katra tells me she's never seen such skill. That you must be an ancient reborn. <laughs> she exaggerates. But you are not Oxen Tribe yet. Ah! Without a crest, made in the Great Forge. May it guard you on the path. And always guide you home. What do I have to do now? Okay, I got a helm for it. Which I'm probably just going to salvage immediately. Weapon technique. Shifts. Let's see. Technique. The technique slot allows the player to choose a weapon expertise effect that applies to all of their attacks... Regardless of which weapon they are using, select an expertise of rank 1 or above from the right to see your technique. Gain 2 fury on hit. Well, this is the only option because the others just don't have it. Bleeding damage, lucky chance, vulnerable enemies... Gain fury when hitting a crowd controlled enemy. Increase damage to stun enemies. It's probably worth. Yeah, I mean, for Hammer of the Ancients and what I'm doing, this is fine. It also says. Berserking grants 25% increased movement speed and. Damage and duration. Okay. Alright, well, that's cool. I mean, it's a little bit of a buff. Alright, uh, so I've got my list here. Because I'm tracking this properly now, otherwise there's no way to know. So let's go to... This waypoint. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, dude, whenever you want to jump on, let me know. Hang on, I gotta swap my audio real quick. Okay. I just jumped on Discord. I think it's all set. Let me see if I can... Oh, wait. I can't hear myself there. Ah. Anyway. Okay. Uh, so, I need to do... All of these ones here. I haven't really done any. Yeah, I've only done four, so... It's pretty easy to figure it out. I do have the side quest, but I think they can wait. Uh, this this doesn't have a this doesn't have a salvage thing. Of course, it doesn't. Okay. 
feel like every town should have it. Hello? Hey, man. Hello. Uh, let's see if you can be heard on stream. Say something again. Something again. Yeah, cool. I saw the volume bar move. Cool. It's been a minute, You'll have to man. pardon me if I sound like a 60-year-old three-pack-a-day smoker. I'm still <laughs> working off the stick. Right. Is, is it COVID or just... It appears to be again, yeah. Fucking hell, man. What, that's the, that's three now? Or four? Yeah, th yeah. Fuck. I, I still haven't unlucky, been here. Apparently. <laughs> I just I... fucking won the COVID lottery. It's, just, it's great. Jeez. I mean, they were saying it's got just genetics. It's like some people are just going to get hit multiple times, and then there are people that are just not going to get hit at all, ever. And I think I just fall into that category. Yeah, I mean, it's probably that, and also working in the service industry, I'm just... Yeah, true. I mean, I'm kind of cozy working from home. Exposed. Contagion. I mean, I think teachers and people in the service industry probably cop it the most. Alright, give me a sec, I'm just gonna... do a couple things. Although, I think I can invite already. Oh, wait, you gotta pick a character, and then I can invite to party. So I'm making a... Now I'll go take your character. time. I'll change the look of mine to, I guess, match a desert area. I feel like that's too obvious. So I'm not sure... when the scaling will match up, but I'll probably just be cowering behind you for... <laughs> A little bit from here. what I've from what I've seen, I've I've seen really low people running around with like thirties and whatnot, and it seems to be fine. Yeah, I mean it's a zone related thing, right? So yeah, eventually I'll catch up just because I'll be blasting up levels. But I think this is the better alternative to just kind of again, like I said, making everything really boring. Yeah. That makes like sense. I was following around some of my higher level friends and they just poop all over everything and it's just kind of like... Oh. Alright, well... What do I even do now? <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just useless in this situation. Mm, this looks fine. Save. Alright, there we go. That's more of a desert look. S um, Karan asks if you're getting desert, um, not desert, COVID pay, desert pay. COVID pay? Yeah, I mean, I'm getting some sick days in, for sure. Okay, So cool. it's not all, just mostly bad. Has it hit you stronger, or is it still the same? No, I guess that's the benefit, is every time, it, like the first time I got it, it was really bad. Yeah, I remember that. But, <laughs> yeah, the... The following times, including this time, it's been very minor. It's just kind mm. of more annoying now. Yeah, I bet. But, uh, it's certainly not ideal either way. Hmm. Well, do you do the self isolation thing still, or just kind of wing it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I just personally feel obligated to not give it to other people. Yeah. Makes sense. You know? Yeah, I've heard the brain fog is the worst. Just... I, I can't relate to how it feels, but I've, I've heard. <laughs> okay, cool. Um... So, the way I've been doing this, I've been using a website to just track what I've done because it's not in the game for some weird reason. Right. Like, you can't see what dungeons you've done. However, uh, you're only, this is your second character, right? Or have you got more? Yes. Well, the yeah. second, uh, 
second regular. I started a hardcore character just for funsies. But, okay, that, yeah. that's fine then. So, the way you can do it, for Skarsglen in particular, um, if you go into your Codex of Power, when you hover over it, it says, uh, each one says where you completed it. Right. So... So we're not doubling up. Um, I use... Hang on, I'll... I'll link it in Twitch chat. I use this thing, and then I'm kind of clicking the ones that I've already done. So I've got four that I've already done. And I guess just let me know if which dungeons you've done, so then we don't do one that you've done or one that I've done, and just kind of go for the greater good. I believe the quest makes you, like, the story makes you do two of them. Or three, so. Um. But yeah, just gotcha. hover Man, over. Man, I just, this is the first time I've scrolled down and looked at how many aspects there actually are to get. How many do you have? I have crazy. just two rows. I've got 36 of them. I have 26, so that's not too far off. Yeah. And, but that's you completing well, yeah. the campaign. This is me. Uh, like... Yeah, it's just it's a it's a yeah. It's a side effect of just pushing through the campaign more or less. Yeah. Like I hit fifty right as I finished the campaign, essentially. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm barely hitting Act Three and <laughs> well past fifty, but that is what it is. Man, my character looks like your character on drugs in the portraits. I haven't seen. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's that's funny. Did you see my character before you designed it, or did you just design it that no, way? No, I just I well, just went for what I felt was right for. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. All right. Well, are you in the dungeon already? No, no. I'm just in in town. Um, in Scotland. Okay. I don't know if you can come directly to me. I can, but I was just gonna wait till you're in the dungeon, and then I'll just teleport okay. to you. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll go. I'll go to. Um, I just get one shot of the zone you're in. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. I'll go to one dungeon. Um, see if you've done Surat's Lair. S A R A T. Because that's one I haven't done. I'll just go. Yeah, I mean, either way, I'm just down. Yeah. Okay. Eventually, I'll have to have done all of them for Redown and all that shit, so... Well, yeah, because it gives you Paragon points. That's the only reason I'm doing them. Yeah. Like, you got four Paragon points. It's, it's not insignificant. I've had three hardcore characters die already, by the way. I don't think I have the guts to play hardcore, not after some of the stuff that I've seen so far. It's just... Yeah, unless you know, you're uh, yeah, can be pretty disheartening. Like, unless, you're unless you're playing in a group, I feel like it's it's just not possible. Like, uh, have you guys succeeded in taking down the butcher? Like, at what point did you run into him and were able to take him down? Uh, so we've killed him once. And it literally took us like 30 minutes because we were still like low, low level. Yeah, right. We just ran into him in a very fortunate place. There was like a pillar in the middle of the room that we could kind of kite him around. Yeah. Um, but every time before and after that, my high level friends just kind of shit all over him. So I don't right. really count that at the point they're at. But every time I run into him in a solo situation, I scream like a little girl and run away. I feel like you can't Still. beat him in a solo situation. Like, me as a barbarian that's meant to be good at 1v1ing, it just, it just doesn't work. Well, yeah, some of my friends who are, like, high, like ridiculous and their build is pretty fleshed out, they can do it, but I yeah. still can't. But the problem is, when you run into him, you can't run away from him easily, and the moment that happens in hardcore, I feel like you're fucked. Like, that's it. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, that's just... You that. I'm sure there's a way you can tell when he's around, but 
there's so many things I've seen where it's just like, I don't think I'll ever play this game hardcore. It just seems like... Wait, is your clan's called Mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Does that so stand? we're Lilith's good boys. Ah, good yeah, boys. Tag is mommy. The yeah, good boy. Okay, uh... I see. Bunch of good boys. I see how the difficulty's yeah, they're, going. They're level twenty for me, so. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it won't take long for me to catch up, but right now I'm definitely gonna cower behind you. I'm not ready. Yeah, the thing about my build is kind of it's kind of terrible at defending. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I I, I I fail the quests where I have to defend NPCs. I just ignore them because I, I just never succeed. That's comforting. But I mean, some of those things I feel like it's just so skewed towards multiplayer. You just can't do the mastery on your own. Oh, 100 percent. Especially some of the early odd ones are literally like literally impossible. Yeah. I must wait. I will consider it a victory if you don't die. As well at, I, at least before 20. Where is that coming from? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I've leveled up twice already, though, so... Okay, this, this awesome. bodes well. No, I just... I love this build. It's just... I have three shouts and then... Um... Wrath of the Berserker. I forgot its name for a sec. And then it's just Hammer. So when shit targets me, I just go Hammer, 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 Hammer. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, their extra health—they—they they might take me a minute. It's fine. I know. It's like, ow! <laughs> it like scales for multiple players, unfortunately. That's the. I can't part. believe they brought back extra it's health. Okay. It, it, I can't believe that. They got rid of that in D3 because everyone hated it. Yeah, that's, that's not ideal. Oh, man. So while you're running around... <laughs> <laughs> how's, how's things? How's uh, the job going? It's been a while, man. I know. Yeah, I know. I've been like juggling two jobs and like having to do all kinds of shit because uh, unfortunately the Korean barbecue is kind of cucking me on hours lately. Ah, uh, that sucks, uh, man. Yeah, so I'm having to like work around that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so that's kept me pretty busy. The last, I don't know, a couple months or so. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna put a Paragon point in quickly, there we go. Yeah. Are you following any kind of particular build, or are you just kind of going for... Winging it. Desires? Completely winging it. I like it. That's kind of what I was doing at first, too, because it just seemed more fun that way. Yeah. It's not like I mean... you really have to be crazy mid maxi until you're up in the crazy shit anyways. You know? Yeah. I mean, I kind of assume what I'm doing is, is a build anyway, because it's, it's loosely based off the Hammer of the Ancients build in D3. <laughs> Just with yeah. more screaming, so... It yeah, kind of struggled at the fun. start. Yeah. Oh no, the, the hammer, the sounds of the hammer are so satisfying. Fuck. Oh, it just sounds so meaty. <laughs> I bet the, uh, the one that possesses the human is, like, nightmare fuel. Yeah. Well, in real life, I don't mind spiders that much, actually, but in this game, they just are assholes. Yeah, they are. The ones that explode. Look at me helping. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, help more. At least they're not straight up one shotting me. Like, that's. Nah, that's, that's good. I'm low 
on Fury. I was sad because when they did the first patch, Barbarian all got nerfs. <laughs> just immediately just nerfed. Yeah. Trying to go faster. You're good, man. <laughs> you do whatever you gotta do. The sack, smack, smack. Oh, yeah. Should probably take one of those potions. It's the boots. Oh, God. Not with the greedy looting, apparently. Lucky hit chance, cold resist, lightning resist, overpower damage. Yeah, I'll do overpower damage. Watch out for the trap. In fact, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna let it hit me. Let's just preempt disaster. Like once I'm at least level 13, then I can be alright. Okay, I mean that's not bad. No, I still it's think like... it's the better alternative to just. I don't have enough fury. Just the insta level stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking some spider ankles over here, man. Juking. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Ah. Problem is, every time I hit the hive thing. It just causes more of them to come out. Okay, I can kill the little ones now. Okay, good. Step up. I mean, the rumor for this is that they're gonna start their battle passing in August. They're not too far away. Which, they have their ladder or whatever they're gonna call it. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see what they do with that. It's Blizzard's uh, highest selling game at launch, apparently. Yeah, which is huge for them. Yeah, so they, they've already said they've got two expansions for this. <laughs> Fuck you, spider! hate poison in this game. That's the worst. All, all my jewelry has something to reduce poison. Yeah, what ring did I get? Yeah, that's a boring one. That's fine. Oh, is that it for this place? There should be oh, no, one more. Ah.
Do you have any quests that you hate seeing? There's, there's a few that are just repeated and every time I see them, I'm like, ah. Any quests that I hate seeing? Yeah, or just shit that you have to do. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, the def the defender dying people is always a pain in the ass. Yeah. I think the one that I'm starting to get, like, a little tedious is... The, the one where there's like a central location then you have to go fetch two boxes or two stones and you have to go to the opposite ends of the map and then come back yeah that's just it's so overused it happens a lot a lot yeah a lot a lot yeah <laughs> get back oh my god why is it so hard to focus on me I'm the one that's like, there's no such thing as aggro in this, clearly. <laughs> really not. Unless it's just detecting the weak one. I don't know. This is funny. This is some like furiously screaming, swinging. This oh. hammer the size of a small child. Dude's just, <laughs> just not giving a fuck about it. Just making the beeline straight to you. I hate these fucking things too. Yeah. The Thorn Beasts are assholes. They always have been. In every Diablo game they've appeared, they're just annoying. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> so what are you thinking of doing with the Necro? Minion, no minion? I'm gonna try no minion at first. What I've learned immediately about this game is at least at first, you just kinda gotta roll with whatever it gives to mm. you fear wise. Yeah. At least to a certain extent. Yeah. That's all I, I went with like a, a conjuration sort of build on Sorcerer just to try it out. Seems to be working. Great, now I can just run around exploding corpses. Oh good, that'll be helpful. Stay relatively safe. My corpse explosion is, is, is always a legit skill. Oh yeah. Actual AoE damage. I'm just good at taking out one thing. This is, this is basically what happens to me when I have to defend an NPC right here. I'm a little bit smarter than an NPC. Hopefully. Yeah, no. The NPC would have died a long time ago, so... Say corpse explosion is really satisfying. A lot of the skills in this game are. I think they've done well with the animations and just how they feel. Yeah, the visual Ooh. design on point for sure. There you go. Oh, now yeah. You, yeah, this is a great shrine. Yeah, let's make sure I don't leave you behind. <laughs> Damn, powerful. Fear me. Switch that lasted longer. Ow. 
Ah! <laughs> Crawl down to the ceiling. As they do. It's just spider things. Oh, do, do, do you know? I, I got a, I got a story to tell you. <laughs> that you will find funny. Um, so, a few weeks ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, we were just in chat. We we're talking about chicken nuggets, and the topic of Dino nuggets were brought up. And as a kid, never had them. So, right. because they were talked about so much, I felt the need to go get some. So I did, and. Uh, I took a break, you know, the little break I do. Mm -hmm. I went to make them, I was happy, I sat down and I started playing a game. And just as I was eating them, um, just I noticed that quite a few people were coming into chat asking if I was from Melbourne. And it was weird. Uh, and then one of them was just like, oh yeah, there was an earthquake in Melbourne. I'm like, what? An earthquake? I didn't believe it at first, so... I checked that later, and the time it happened was roughly the moment that I got the dino nuggets out of the air fryer and sat down to eat them. So the chicken nuggets distracted me so much that I did not realize that an earthquake was happening. Anyway. The power of dino nuggets, dude. Yeah, it's just chicken. It's me and chicken. It's like, it could be the end of the world, but if I have a plate of anything chicken in front of me, just, that's that's it. Be I'm yeah. in my own world. That's hilarious. They were what did you good, think though. of the dino nuggets, though? They were pretty good. I mean, they're just chicken nuggets in a shape, but um, yeah. But... I, I cooked them in. So I added a little bit of peanut oil, kind of like rubbed them on oh. it, and then you know air fried them, and then added the uh, chicken salt, which I think I've told you about. It's this thing we have in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken soup. Yeah. yeah, it's good shit. I take a little look for that every time I'm in a market because of you. Just to see if I can find it anywhere. Uh, if you find it, it's good stuff. You'll definitely know if I ever find it. It's just on fries or chicken nuggets, man. Can't go wrong. <laughs> it's in your Amazon cart, Colin. Uh. That's good stuff. Oh god! <laughs> Keep blowing up corpses. Doesn't look like you need to run as much now. Not as much, yeah. Start to level out. Oh, the other thing I feel about this game is there's just so many instances where I felt like, oh, okay, this game is basically telling me to go fuck myself for picking a melee character. Pretty much. Yeah. Like, they try, it seems like they try to balance it out by making the casters really squishy. Yeah. You know, so like, sorcerers, yeah, there's lots of escape options and movement options and range to, but, like, I just get shit on once in a while. If I get caught in the wrong place. But here, it's like, okay, you've got plague, you've got... If you get by, hit by anything ice-related, or the worst one is the uh, vulnerability one. The vulnerability one basically deletes your armor and you're fucked. Like, you can't stick around and tank if you are vulnerable. Yeah. Which is... It's very akin to what they used to do in Diablo 3. They had this well, debuff. Yeah, coming. They had this debuff that would remove armor that pretty much, like 90% of it, and if you got hit with it as a melee character, you were dead the next hit. Yeah. And they got rid of that. <laughs> and here we are, next game, and they have something very similar. It's not as extreme, but sometimes it, it feels that way. Oh. Ow! Oh my god! 
They just don't why why that. are they just jumping straight to you? They're assholes, that's why. They just immediately jumped on top. It's because they know you're afraid of spiders. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. I'm not ready. Ready. <laughs> okay, where are we going? What? It says travel to the Queen's Den. Oh, shit. I'm in the Queen's Den. <laughs> okay. I thought you were for a sec. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go to Narmi. What happened there? I'm not even sure what killed me. <laughs> Got my skeleton army instantly dead. And another thing that I experienced, uh, I went to try Five Guys Burgers. Because they opened in Australia. Oh. I've still never had a Five Guys Burger. It's fucking expensive, man, for what it is, and it's just like... I was joking about that you could go to one of the best steakhouses here in Melbourne and get a... Pretty much a comparable burger, if not better, for about the same price, so it was... It was, yeah. uh, it was exactly that. It was, yep, they, the, the steakhouse I was talking about was literally next door. And, uh, I mean, it was a good burger, but it's just like, for what they're charging, I'd, I'd rather go to the steakhouse. Yeah, I'd say that checks out. Yeah. I did try uh, a milkshake with bacon in it, though. So... It's all right. One of the new jobs I was applying for, but I don't think I'll take. Uh, is that a Brazilian steakhouse? Oh, yeah, yeah. Called the uh, Fogo de Chão or something like that. Uh, that was interesting. You know, it's one of the places where they like bring the meat to the table yeah. on a spit and they like cut it all fancy and they're like dressed like Brazilian cowboys or whatever the fuck. They keep bringing you meat. It's, I've been yeah, to one of those. Was... It's great. Oh, yeah. I think it's a place I will eat, but I will not. I, I don't want to walk there. Oh my god, that's so many spiders. <laughs> but I love it because every time they hit me, it just regenerates my fury completely. So I just keep dropping hammer. Yeah, I mean, this is this has got to be in a multiplayer scaling because I've never seen this many spiders spawn in a single. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. It's, it's fun, it's fun. <coughs> oh, man, I got knocked back. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, I can't even man. see you on my screen. You're just in the, off somewhere grunting off screen. <laughs> Oh, there you are. This spider with the hammer, I just watch, watch it go. Oh, the fucking knockback. There's the stone. What the fuck was that explosion? Oh. <laughs> this 
shit numbers, Spiders. <laughs> There we go. Victor. Ow, shit! Ah! Uh. <laughs> I was about to say victory. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, it's in the middle. It's, it's okay. It's okay. But so yeah, shit like that. Um, no thank you to hardcore. Not until yeah, they make some uh... balance changes. Yeah, it's over here. I don't- I don't think it dropped anything. Okay, uh... Let me leave dungeon... <laughs> I almost got through the whole fight. Okay. Uh, where are we going next? We're going to Old Stones. And we mark Old Stones off. Oh shit, I can't remember if I turned off music in the voice chat. It's not playing, is it? Huh? No? Okay, cool. Can't remember if I turned it off. Yeah, you won't hear music on Twitch, it's just sometimes uh, I play the audio through Discord, so then if people want to listen to music, or what I'm listening to, then it plays through Discord. So then it doesn't end up on the VOD and give a copyright strike. Yes, you don't want that. Yeah, just the way it is now. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Things will never be the same. Usually only in Diablo when I do that, or games that just... You know, the soundtrack is very minimal. Do I need to go back? Yeah, I might have to go back and salvage, but... I'll get to the dungeon first. Yeah, I gotta sell some stuff. Yeah, I hadn't been selling until I started running out of money. I try to, like, go back and forth. Like every other run, I change between salvage and selling. Hmm. Until Discord has to start monitoring for DMCA. I mean, that's... It'll be a while before that. Uh, I'll be right back real quick. We all good. Because the problem is at that point, it's... I would imagine the, uh, the gray area is just because it's a phone call, technically. And listening in on people's phone calls, even if it's just to detect DMCA, I would imagine a lot of countries would not allow that. It'd be effectively spying. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I'll go back to town, actually. Well... I mean, there's, DMC there's so much DMCA detection elsewhere. Like, I think if it was to happen on communication apps, it probably would have happened by now. Is all I'm saying. Like, the technology's there. It's just probably too messy to do.
Use it well. I just can't believe no one's developed something where the streamer can listen to something like Spotify and then if someone wants to listen along, as long as they're subscribed to Spotify, it just tells Spotify what song to play. So you're not streaming the audio, you're just telling other Spotify players what to play. I mean, that might sound simple in concept, but maybe it's like a logistical nightmare to actually make happen. But it'd be a nice and easy way to do it. Conceptually. start looking for this anyway, just to speed things along. This looks cool though, this... I like the look of this. talking about these things and now it's a dungeon full of them safe. I don't see any more. There we go. It's a cool looking dungeon but it's full of those spiny things. <laughs> yeah. Just everything here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The stun them, the stun You went for the big swing on me, dude. I can't pull that out. Highly unnecessary, goat man. Oh, oh. my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll do that. Eric Fang healed it. There we go. So, now to get rid of the minions.
It felt good. <laughs> Enjoyed that. It's deleted. There's another one. <laughs> Let's watch it. Okay. The late baby. Moving on up in the world. Oh, right, we're missing the actual thing. Oh, gotta bring the thing to the thing again. Yeah, this is what I mean, this shit. It's just, it doesn't matter if it's a stone, an orb, a box, it's the same thing. It's just... Yeah. At no, least it's only one. There's so, so much of it. I hope in, like, future expansions they really get more creative with their dungeon design. Yeah. Because there's a lot, a lot of it. It never, it's never becomes less common as far as I've seen. I mean, if, I think it, it kind of talks to the timeline this game had. I think... I mean, as polished as it is, I think this lack of diversity in quests is just a result of them going, Oh, we need this out. Oh, yeah. But, you know, the, the game functions really well. It's probably the best launch I've seen for this kind of genre. Servers weren't broken. Yeah, all in all, we only had problems one time. Yeah. And that was like on on actual launch, which is like you know excusable yeah. to have a couple of issues, but but even then it wasn't it wasn't like an outage for four hours or something like that. No, it was literally just like maybe an hour of like issues. Yeah, it's what we experienced. I didn't experience yeah, it. it. I guess I, I played about an hour no, after. No, it no, 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 no. So maybe that's why, but yeah. I got lucky, like, because work's been really busy, and they were like, "Oh yeah, take the day off on Friday." But yep, sweet. <laughs> I'll take that. Things <laughs> down. Can't wait for the part we start singing. <laughs> Not ideal without my voices, but it'll happen yeah. involuntarily. Eventually. It's inv it's involuntary. Just do it. It's gonna happen. It's just gonna sound terrible, is all. Like I give you my rendition of Hallelujah by six-year-old three-pack-a-day grandma. Oh my god. Where's this fucking pedestal thing? Come on, Diablo. Where's the circle rock? Like that? Yeah. What? <laughs> what do you mean? What? Oh, there's another fucking area down the side. No. Oh. Uh. Love it. Around the damn circle. Love it.
Ooh, careful, this one's the shadow one. Oh, I fear I am not shadow. This is fine. You love Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Have you seen uh, the Golem game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm so t like to download it. Not once. really what I was expecting when you just, as the follow up to you love Lord of the Rings, right? <laughs> yeah, but like, it's a, as a fan, do you feel like you die a little on the uh -huh. inside when you saw that game? That game looks hilarious, honestly. I was like, yeah, it's bad, obviously, yeah. but every clip I've seen has made me die laughing. Uh, it's the face, it's, it's just the character model is so bad, but the game is also just... What also the, like, ragdolly death... Yeah. Some there's stuff so many... There's so many things wrong with it, like, have you ever used text in OBS? Yeah. So the font they use for the UI is basically the same as the default text in OBS. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's just... And... It's just stuff like when you die, it just instantly brings up a text screen that says you died, that's it. Like, no animation, no transition, just instant you're dead. Someone I was watching, the moment oh. they got control of Gollum, um... Their camera glitched and then they had to restart the game. They were just soft locked. Oh man. Sounds like a gold mine of content in this game, honestly. Oh, if it ever goes on PlayStation Plus for free, I'll download it. A clip that got me the other day is this guy was like doing some like jumping thing on some train looking thing. And he just like bonked his head on this like top bar and the way it looked was then sounded was just amazing it was, uh oh, just the mental picture of it it was like an actual metal like bonk sound and he just died yeah cartoon flank yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's useful now yeah there we go this was perfect timing as well jokes on you goat men Okay, fun's over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not going that room. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean. Apparently, destroy 50 objects within 60 seconds. I got Vandal as a title, so that's cool. Let's... Great shrine. at all, so I'm just like... Oh yeah. If you want a minute, stop. No, you're good. It's not like a go sure meeting to these battles right now, anyways. <laughs> Couple of rooms away, is the, what, the talent is tree is probably where like, I should I'm be. The, I'm the threat here, turn around! It just, it's just... 
just going for you. you. You haven't even attacked it. I'm curious how it's, prior how it's prioritizing you. Like, does the game know that I'm I'm defending you? Is, is that what it is? I don't even know, man. Like you said, apparently aggro is not a thing. Yeah. Well, it, it's only a thing when I press the button, but... Eh. It's fine. A couple more levels and I'm... Did you hear about the dude, uh, he got a noise complaint from his landlord? He, uh, was apparently making loud noises that were inappropriate and the neighbor complained and sent a letter to the landlord. And he was really confused and then he realized that he had been playing Tears of the Kingdom at night. And the complaint was the fairy in Tears of the Kingdom that upgrades your shit sounds like uh, a little bit adult. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just they mistook it for uh, for naughty time. Right, that's amazing. Ow. So the dude, the dude had had to explain that um, it wasn't loud sex; it was just him playing Zelda. That's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, what? As we have the like 15 year old or whatever that like accidentally pocket dialed 911 while he was playing Call of Duty. Oh, what? Oh, no. So, you know, he was like on his Xbox 360, you know, like. Yeah. Whatever. Just saying things that you would say in Call of Duty, like, I killed right. one, I killed two! Oh, no. And of course, the boomers at the fucking police station <laughs> couldn't understand it as like gamer lingo. So they so just took they, it seriously. They took it seriously. They did not hear gunfire or anything. Just... Yeah, okay. Oh god. Uh... That's that's uh that's quite unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those stories that reads like a fucking onion article, but it's just real. Yeah. My brother's had some bad luck happen to him. I usually get all the good luck, but man. In high school once when we went to... Because I think at, at the time I was in university, he was still in high school. And we went to pick him up and there was a commotion when we picked him up. There was some dude waiting for my mom to talk to my mom and so... What had happened, my brother, there's like an overpass over a, a, free, a highway sort of thing. So right. he was walking along that, and uh, when he got to the other side, this old dude was waiting at him, and just was accusing him of throwing shit at his windshield. And my brother's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he goes, yeah, I saw what you did. You guys were walking over, you were the only ones walking over, and, you know... A, uh, a, a fry hit my car. So he was complaining about a fry. So here's what happened. My brother was eating fish and chips, you know, fish and fries. And right. one of the fries slipped out of the packaging, fell off the bridge and hit a car. And the dude went and pulled over and stopped them and called the police on them. Wow. <laughs> that is extremely unfortunate. Yeah. And so, you know, they were making a commotion, had to wait, and then by the time, you know, everything was starting to get resolved, there was a police car there, and the rest of the school finished, and, you know, they saw my brother with the police cars. <laughs> Everyone was wondering what the fuck had happened. But, That's uh, terrible, man. Yeah. Poor guy. I've had lots of bad luck, but not so much, like, situational bad luck like that. Mm. 
Like, that's just so unfortunate on so many levels. Yeah. Like, unfortunate the fry fell the way it did onto the car that it did, etc. Et he, he actually had Like, if I was similar. driving and a french fry just hit my windshield, I'd be like, what the fuck? And continue on with my Just day. continue driving, yeah, because it's yeah. just. No, the dude saw it as, like, oh, boomer dude, fucking little shits, so I'll show you. them. No, he, he did have something similar happen to him, uh... As the Call of Duty thing, but it was... He entered this, uh, 48-hour film contest, and so he was discussing... A script with his friends, you know, they were... Uh, they were eating, and described what they were gonna film. And someone right. overheard it, and sort of interpreted it as, Oh no, these dudes are literally gonna do this, and called the cops on them. So they had to explain that they were talking about a movie that they were about to film, and not actually doing heinous shit. Okay, where is this urn? That truly is just unfortunate. Like, you can't hate too much on the people who, like, ratted on them, because they just were trying to do a good yeah. thing in their mind. Yeah. Because you never know. Yeah. The only unlucky thing I've had happen to me is just uh, the only stitches I've ever gotten in my life. Like I just cut, just split open my knee almost. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I tripped over something and landed on a nail. Did not feel it. Oh, yeah. See, that's more the kind of unlucky I've been. Aside from that, generally lucky. I think I've broken and sprained a good amount of things. And... You know, like stepped on a rusty nail inside of a Ugh. cord once, that was not great. Oh, once in. <laughs> okay, this one's unlucky. Um. Once in high school during a class, uh, I sat at a window and the window was facing the school's oval, which was usually the way uh, to get to the car park. So there was, our teacher saw that some student was leaving the school grounds and when he shouldn't have been, basically. So he goes to me, who's at the window, just, oh, get his attention, tap the window. So me, I just, you know, back of my my hand, just go do a tap, tap, tap. On the first tap, the window shatters around my fist. Just completely. It was cold. It was old. It was like an old building. So just I, I, I in my head, I didn't do it hard. But I don't know, man. The whole thing shattered around my hand. But you know, I was fine. Nothing happened. The teacher was just concerned that, oh shit, I was, I just completely shredded my hand, but nah, I was fine. But, you know, this dude fucking shit himself when just this window smashes behind him. Ugh, man. Well, that was like not knowing your own strength moments, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that happens to me a lot. Like, I either do something too, too strong or too weak. I don't have dexterity. Yes, 
asshole with his poison dude, I swear. Yeah. That's why all my jewelry has poison resist on it. Otherwise, I would not be able to be doing this. Basically, I would to carry the damage output of two people here. <laughs> I'm finally able to contribute a little bit, but it's still not like any great noticeable amount. Yeah. I mean, whilst it takes a while, just happy that the tankiness is working for me now. <laughs> it was not before. Ooh, killing an enemy of a core skill refunds the base fury costs. Kind of don't want to give that up, but... I might extract the aspect out of this one. Oh, I keep autopiloting to the wrong place. Where is this? There they are. See, if Lost Ark had been something like this, I would have played it more. Oh, yeah. Just, I think at a certain point, it just became obvious. Oh, no, this is very pay to win. Yeah, I mean, there's some little gripes with this game, but ultimately it is the Diablo I've been waiting for, personally. Yeah, same.
There can there are improvements that can be made, but yeah. But I mean, overall, it's launched. Pretty happy, in the, all in all. Yeah. It's Hopefully launched in a better state than three did. Let's put it that way. In terms of what yeah. was wrong with three. It's just overall more enjoyable than three to me too. Yeah. Like I think they brought back some of the depth and difficulty from two that three was missing for me. Hmm. I played a lot of two. Uh, with Resurrected. Yeah, love to. Uh, There's just something about this game, it just turned brain off mode. Uh... I need pants with sockets. Okay, uh, let me pick a dungeon. What's nearby? Okay, there's one over here. In the stockade. It's a druid. Let me look at what they are. Okay, the one we did was all, so that's good. What about this one? There's a necromancer. Uh bone spirit one, yeah. Can go do that one next. Just so you can maybe apply it. Uh it's this one. Okay. And then there's a sorceress one that I would like to get. Okay, marker's done. <laughs> Did you get to try all the classes yet, or still...? Uh... Well, this is my first time with Necromancer. Hmm. My hardcore character's a rogue. And so I haven't touched Barbarian or Druid yet. I haven't touched Druid. Druid is probably the least interesting one for me, personally. Yeah, because... But I will it, probably try it at some point, that being said. To me, it's, it's felt like a jack-of-all-trades, like it's kind of... You can do a melee build, or you can do a magic build, but I don't think it excels. At least my experience from what I've seen in other games. But you never know, maybe it is actually fun. Hey, hey, Kami, what's up? Can't sleep, huh? Jeez, yeah, it's late. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, tomorrow's the end of the busy week. <laughs> Man. I'm so happy I have a long weekend. Okay, I've arrived in the dungeon. I'm gonna look at something real quick. Where am I going with this? Strength, strength, intelligence. You're at the dungeon, you said? Yeah. Okay. I'm just looking at my power on board. I'm changing some things around, just trying out all the skills, seeing what feels fun. Dex. I mean, I don't know how much these nodes matter.
Wait, they're calling it the King's Holiday now? <laughs> the calendar still appears as Queen's Birthday, so that's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not... I guess they're not using the word birthday, which makes sense. Oh my god, I'm getting... torn apart by these things. Oh damn, whoa. that was a large chunk of hell. Was that a corpse explosion or something else? Just that thing got chunked. Yeah, corpse explosion. Uh, blast wave, yeah. Now we're contributing. Now yeah, whatever you did, it's working. Ugh, I hate these things. Thing is, ugh. Oh, I think this corner is done. Oh, this is like a lower tier dungeon, too, that's why. Is that? Yeah, so this is actually scaling down to me. Wow. Oh. Correctly. Mine still says level 50. Yeah, it'll still scale up to you. Hmm. Wherever you're at, but. I mean, hey, I don't mind. I just want the completion and the aspect. This one felt short so far. Not ready. <laughs> this looks like you're putting a trifle symbol on the ground. Yeah. You know what is this? Lethal shrine. Okay. Crits. Jana, a 
family of wasps has crept their way into a cave in the highlands. The wasps are harmless enough, but the locals have written to me in a panic. To think such tiny creatures could sow sheer chaos with their coming. You are strong in a language of spirits. You know the rhythms of their dances. Go to the highlands. Guide this brood from the cave and shepherd them home. Ooh, help me. What have I got? Ah, that's a bleeding one. I keep getting bleed items. Oh, oh, okay. I just got warped forward. No, I bet when the hammer goes down and I take out multiple things at once, it just makes it easier to do the explosion. I'm not ready. Skeletons are dumb as shit. <laughs> yeah. Just started that explosion. I have noticed that I've been a complaint of it. I tried playing skeletons, um, skeletons during the, uh, the open beta, and when I got to the world tier boss, man, they just did not survive. Just got fucked. Hey, it's this fight again, but this time. <laughs> I don't have 50,000 spiders on top of me. Not that this that wasn't time fun. Already. Not that that wasn't fun, that was a lot of fun. Just... Got that knockback, man. Given you an aspect that you could potentially use. Yeah. Uh, I guess I can just leave and go to the next one. Next one is just south of here. It'll be interesting to see what level I'll be when I finish the campaign. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, the way you're doing it is definitely than the way better than the way I would do it. I would really? say. You think? Well, just that, like, I don't know. I've just had to do lots of grinding to kind of like 
get to where I needed to be at some point. Hmm. I guess it's fine either way, honestly, because it's like you end up just the kind of grinds you have to do is just what you have to do anyways in terms of like clearing the world and stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, for me, it, for this first playthrough, it's interesting because you, you see storylines and all that stuff and you explore the world a bit more. But I think the second time around, I'm not sure I'll necessarily do that. Like if we're talking about... Um, like the, the season or whatever. But I think it's just gonna start with adventure and you just kind of jump in and do what you want to do. Yeah, I mean, I think they did a good job of kind of like letting you do whatever you want to do. Hmm. In terms of like how you level and what speed you're going at and all that. Are you in the dungeon already? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry. Just auto a little. Brother Mevlin, orders have come down. I'm closing the tower for good. I have warned them that building atop the old Zaffaroon crypt was trouble. You should have seen how many priests they brought in. Keep the dead at bay. All that work to maintain some black water foothold. Just a few more days of this pass. They're sealing up the passageways to the crypt. Then, I'll see you in Eldheim. Light's blessings. Brother Cozina. Oh, good, it's a mechanical box. <laughs> the other one seemed to get a lot outside as the other uh, jar of souls. Yeah. Uh, destroy the skeletal constructs. I'm trying to think if I've done something similar. Okay, you know what's useful is that when you level up, you just nuke everything. <laughs> yeah, love that. Yeah. That is nice how often that is happening. Oh, 
Okay. That's uh, one. The one thing I haven't tried yet is playing with controller. I thought it's decent. I don't really even think about that. Yeah, I mean, not all builds can do it, but something like this is what I'm doing. It might be better. Oh, wait. I think I got the feeling it's probably here. I had this feeling that it was gonna make us go to the this pocket. Instincts on point on that one for sure. Interesting one where it is. this did we miss a spot what ah there I see it I like your title by the way I don't know if I mentioned that <laughs> yeah it's the build feel like it also checks out just in general. <laughs> because I saw everyone was using a trash or garbage and yeah, I wanted to be creative. I've seen a couple of people with the, uh, the, the suffix too, or prefix oh. rather. Yeah, I've unlocked that one as well. So you know, you get lots of the trash, the garbage. Yeah. 
wonder if they have a frog one. So I would name a, a character Kermit and then just have the frog. I'll have to check that. I might do that for a character. <laughs> Actually, now that I say that out loud. Be pretty funny. I can't do a Kermit voice, but yeah. Tomb Lord. This dude's attacks are pretty brutal. Yeah. Get stunned! Jeez, that's so bad. I definitely say that we're killing stuff a lot faster now. Definitely what? Seeing that we're killing stuff a lot faster now. Oh yeah, the progress is, is happening finally. Oh shit, I got to see it again this time. Oh, no, I got it. One thing, I mean, I don't, I, I haven't played as far in, maybe. Um, I know in Diablo 3 you could find loot that wasn't specific to the class you were playing, so like Legendary, for example. But I haven't seen that yet. My bags are full. I mean, in Max, I wasn't really, um... What's it called? Getting any loot for outside of my class until like after the campaign and everything. Okay. I don't know yeah. if they just made it rare or like tipped the odds a little bit there or what they did exactly. I mean, maybe through the playthrough, I, I guess that makes sense. It's just, I would hate for it to be a thing because, um, I mean, one of the good things about this game from a social aspect is just you're playing with someone and then you find something that could be useful for the person you're playing with and. Just that yeah. kind of back and forth. Got some good in it. I haven't noticed that. So I'm hoping they haven't killed it off completely. Okay, let me have a look at what other dungeons could be beneficial. Oh, skill, let's draw it. Wait, there's one where you deal increased damage for each second you stand still. I wonder what build would that'd be beneficial for. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I'm just hovering around and seeing if like, it charges up pretty quick, but the opportunities of standing still in this game, no matter what you're playing. Yeah, pretty, exactly. Okay, there's one I definitely want. I'm going for that one now. 
Um, okay, it is... Wait, what the fuck? Okay, this is cool. There's two. Perfect. <coughs> Wait, that's not the one I'm after. Oh, my bad. This one. That's the one I want. Okay, how do I get here from here? There's one specific to the skill I'm using. And it causes it to cause an earthquake and do AoE, so I think that definitely has to happen. Oh, yeah. This one's a while away. We're good. I'm taking this opportunity to drip out a bit. <laughs> drip. Drip. So another thing I gotta hand to this game, man. The all the gear and stuff looks great. I love the aesthetic. Yeah, I did not like the aesthetic in D3 at all. Neither did I. It was just too... Weird. Yeah, like too cartoony, I guess. They tried to... I guess... They just tried to make it unique. I guess that's the best way I can put it. And it just ended up looking weird a lot of the time. Like, I never wore helms ever. Whereas in these, these look like just... Medieval and gothic, and it just suits it. Yeah, it just fits the tone way better. Yeah. And you know, I mean, like, no spoilers whatsoever, honestly, obviously, but like, man, mm. a couple of it's. This game has legitimately grossed me out a couple of times. Yeah. The things happen, and I'm like, oh! <laughs> I mean, in, in Act 2, the dude with the tree, like, severed, right? Like, that's. Yeah, that was from gnarly. I was like, yeah. damn, they really went hard, dude. Uh, yeah. The, it's, it's definitely a course correction, because D3 was not well received <laughs> in that regard. Yeah. Okay, I've reached the dungeon. Just tabbing out okay. for a sec. I have dripped out. Nice. I look far more scary and powerful than I actually am, but that's okay. Just glad the I mean, game lets me do that. At least, at least now, things are going a bit quicker. Oh, look, we're returning, too, to a pedestal. Even that. Those guys. Disgusting. Gross. Oh, I can 
only have four of these. Cool. <laughs> I need this quick aspect. Paragon point, finally. I'm just glad that they haven't done stuff like the gem system where you just would only go one type, pretty much, because the others were just not worth it. At least here there's some level of nuance to it. For the insane percentages, like... 3,500 extra percent of damage. Not sure how much of a fan I am of having to resun my entourage over and over again. Oh yeah. I mean, I wonder if there's a way later to not have to do that. I'm just not sure how some of these builds progress. Yeah, I have no idea what the. What the necromancer progression looks like, I haven't looked into it at all. I do like that the summons are kind of just this thing that's just latent. You don't have to level a skill. It's just you have it. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Oh shit, the other one's back there if you go back for it. I'm gonna go deliver oh, this right. one. Oh, just, I see yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just in the room there. Should be able to handle it. I just figured if there was anything here to just kill it with this. How oh, nice this works. I'm shooting it through the door. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Killed a bunch of shit that's through the door. I'm coming back. I assume it's still there, needing help. I'm surprised that worked. Oh, you're done. Okay. I handled it. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. It was a little scary, not gonna lie. You had, you had the artillery thing, I believed. Yeah. That definitely helped out, but then it ran out and I got scared. I wonder, I'm curious. Okay, I mean, ah! it did. How? What did I take down from? Skeletal constructs. Okay.
Cool. Nice. What is this? Eh, uh, I mean, I've had that effects drop before. We have received more reports of undead prowling The Glen folks say these things as a local fellow a healer named Thomas turned to profane arts after his family succumbed to illness. It could be just a legend. However, it warrants further investigation. If this fiend is real, we must destroy him. Go forth, Knight's Penitent, and show the unbelievers that we can cleanse this land of evil. Blessed be the light. Watch Commander Anche. Okay. Uh... I think this is straight down <laughs> this way. I'm not ready. God damn it! <laughs> I was doing it for the dude I was leaving for. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't kill you, it just makes it vulnerable, that's all. Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping my eye on you from now on. <laughs> Was a breach of trust. Well, it's just too much fun, man. Yeah. I do like what they've done, because now you can have an ability that generates a corpse despite not having anything die. So, it means it's not completely useless in a boss situation. I think it works great with this, just... Kind of pull everything into one spot and drop the hammer and bam. Oh, complete? Really? Thought there was gonna be a boss. Alright, sick. Hey, down for that. Alright. Gonna mark this as done.
Okay. Oh, uh, give me a sec. Oh, good. I'm uh, looking at Ooh. my stuff. Let's see. I need something with two sockets. Otherwise, it's not gonna, uh, I guess. All right. It's there. I just need a mallet to apply it to. I'm just having a hard time finding pants with two sockets. Uh, what am I going to do with this? I guess just sell. glyphs at this. Every willpower purchase. Good for every willpower purchase. Next rating. For every strength purchase, gain damage. Dexterity purchase. Dexterity purchase. Dexterity purchase. Radius size equals two. All right, got it. I'm trying to read these boards and see how they work. dungeon. Okay, I'll read them out. Uh, gain maximum essence per active minion for necromancer. Uh, yeah, thorns is boring for barbarian. Rogue is like a marksman one. What else have we got? Uh, that's another rogue one. Druid. The stand's still on, which I'm very curious about. Do you... Oh, that, that's rogue. Never mind. That's whirlwind. Skeleton gain... Increased damage while alive up to 20 to 30 percent after 10 seconds. That seems like a good one for you. That definitely does, yeah. All right, so where's that? That is Tear Mare. Yeah, it's pretty much just outside it.
Okay, let's mark this one as done. Just need to get a good mace now. carries over into the dungeon. There's one of those, like, uh, emoji thingies outside of it. Let's say it says... I'll uh, just say thank you. Okay. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's just a gold one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm in the dungeon now. Thought it might be, like, a shielding one. These, these are new. Slay the Alderkin. Bunch of shit on me. Okay, it's, it's, it's less shit now. Most of them died. Had those pigs kill me a couple times. Yeah, they f the charge is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, damn it! No, the ability I can't use.
Oh, it's gonna make us walk through the other side of the map. <laughs> okay, uh, drink potion. There we go. Bitch. <laughs> it like, takes like half my health. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit more tanky now, but man. At high levels, those things will fucking one shot me. I can imagine. I mean, just like these thorn beasts, I can imagine they are not fun later. Because of enemies just teleporting directly on top of you. I know, man. They just love doing it, apparently. Uh, I guess back to the middle. Oh, shrine. There's an elite here, though. It's an elite pig one. <laughs> Be careful. Fuck off. Yeah. Okay. 
Boss time, maybe? Yes. It's a wolf. Okay, this one wasn't too long. Get stunned. Oh no. Okay, bye skeletons. <laughs> yeah. I mean, skeleton. Um, I don't know how it becomes later, but I kind of regretted playing skeletons uh, when I tried Necromancer. Useful. Yeah, it almost feels like if you're gonna go skeletons, you have to commit really hard to making them good. Yeah. In your build. Yeah. Otherwise, they're just kind of fodder for to get murdered. You have to go hard points into because with other builds you can get away with doing one point and moving further down the tree, but I feel like with skeletons you kind of have to just almost single skill it. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at aspects and see what I can do with my gloves. My gloves aren't doing anything useful right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it might become something good. Okay. What have I got in inventory? Nothing compatible. Sick. <laughs> um, Love that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Um, Hammer of the Ancient Quakes. Let's go. There's my usefulness. I mean, I could probably go better gloves, but for now, that that is way more useful than what I had. about boots? Yeah, boots are fine. Helm is not really useful. Is there something what else I can do? Still with the pants. Care for a piece of spice cake? Ah, uh, of course not. Why would you? All my wares taste of smoke. Yeah, but I'm curious to see how this performs. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. gloves are kind of shit. <laughs> For now, just having that skill. Yeah, I'm starting to... Starting to understand the skill tree now. Well, I probably shouldn't have done that last upgrade. 
to it to three. on your return. Alright, I think I'm down to do one more dungeon and then I gotta get some sleep. Sounds good, I should probably do the same. Let me find something. Most of the ones in this act of Druid and Rogue. Ooh, that one's useful. Okay, I found a useful one. Uh, it is this one. Ghost walking aspects. And it's usable by every class, so... Like that. Bugs slowing <laughs> me down. There we go. Oh, this is almost identical to the... I suppose it looks a little visually different. But it reminds me a lot of the Act 1 dungeon. Ow, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> That is the quake, I see the quake. Blue. Genuinely, a chance that the key can be on the first body you loot. Or it's just fake. <laughs> so, you wonder if there's a chance of what? Because we have to search uh, the bodies for a key. I'm just mm -hmm. wondering if, like, the very first body we came across, if there was ever a chance that it could be there. Or is it just, uh, like, haha, 
You have to go to the very edge of the map to get it. I would assume it always has to be the last one. Yeah, I got the feeling it's rigged. <laughs> Just... Yeah. I mean, if you got it right away, you wouldn't experience the whole dungeon. Oh. That is... I think that's the door, though. Wait, what is that? Oh no, the bodies, I see. Okay, well... Oh no, it's a letter, never mind. That's <laughs> not it. From the manor house. He wants all the banners taken down, re stitched in gold. You know how good he is. Wants to give his boy a proper coming of age. A ceremony fit for kids. I know you've worked to the bone, but the day isn't far off. Think of the feast we'll have when the hunt is done. Bow. Steward Eldheim Okay, there's the key now. But you know what? I bet the door is just around the corner here, and then it's just faking you out. One now. Travel to the desecrated hall. Just checking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing in there. I wonder if they're gonna do a cow level in this. this. There's no cow level. Yeah, of course not, but like. It's his tradition to not ask about it. I did see a spot in, on the map in Act 1 that I was like, hmm, that is a little suspicious. There's like a, a house in the south uh, east corner of Fractured Peaks that has just a bunch of cows at a house. But it could also be yeah, a bait. Yeah, they haven't already done it, I'm sure they'll do some sort of reference to it in some way or another. Well, in Diablo 3, it took a while for people to find it, because it was just a rare thing. Yeah.
Oh, you dick. He, te <laughs> he teleported. Alright, I went and got the Animus. Oh, shrine. What is that? Channeling. Hammer, hammer, hammer. So left. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess they're all here. Oh no, they're all frozen. Ugh. Shit. 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 <laughs> yeah. This is this is a little disgusting. Hey, remember how you picked the melee character? Go fuck yourself. Amulet! Okay, we can go now. Forward. While healthy, a magical bubble is summoned around you. While standing in the bubble. Oh, uh, while not healthy. Ah, oh, yeah, this thing. Yeah. It's not a bad one.
What did I get? Two-handed sword, which I guess. Hell yeah! Yeah, that's... A, oh, wait. Yeah, that's no, fine. That's a good one. I mean, at the very least, I have a backup aspect now. Um, did I mark that one as done? Yes, Ghost Walker, alright. Oh, this one does war cry. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I thought I can reforge properties that I don't like. That one. Ah. Oh. Fiend Rose? Okay, I don't have anything like that. Not this one. Okay. Dodge chance, no change, materials won't be refunded. Damage reduction from distance enemy, I'll take that. Okay, now imprint aspect, what can we do? Let's show my class only. There we go. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Dry Step Campaign gives a good aspect. Yeah, I mean, that'll do for now. Uh, sucker. I only have one. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna store these pants just in case shit goes wrong. <laughs> Where's my storage? There. Hmm. Okay, I got the thing. I'm wearing all legendary gear finally. That was a good feeling. Yeah, this is the pants that I, I couldn't swap out, I but I think I got it now. What'd you need? Right. Nah. Although, hang on, that's probably because... Greetings. Yeah, it's fine. I'll probably get another one. Ask? What's left, you ask?
All right, man. I'm gonna have to leave it here. Gotta get some rest. Yes, sir. That's uh, it was fun, man. Should yeah. do this again sometime. It's definitely. I have an alt that can more or less run with you now. Yeah, I mean, it's surprising how quickly that happens. So, credit to the game. Yeah, the the scaling is still pretty good. It works pretty well. Yeah. All right, man. Well, take care, and yeah, just if you ever want to play, just shout. For sure, for sure. Have a good, uh, have a good rest. All right, man. Take care. All right, chat. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for tonight. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out. It was fun tonight playing a bunch of different stuff. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Start of the long weekend. We'll do more Zelda and we'll see what else we get up to. Uh, probably a bit more of this, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, and if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and uh, the usual thing I say about clicking buttons for algorithm purposes goes here. I'm, I'm too lazy to come up with something.